This is an instructional video on how to install an EZ900 N-Mail or N-Female onto LMR900 cable. The first thing you'll need to do is cut the cable with a hacksaw. But before you do this, in order to make a flush cut, a pipe cutter can be used to score the cable. To cut the cable, a 32 teeth per inch blade works well. While cutting, follow the score made by the pipe cutter. Wipe any shavings left behind. And taking a closer look at the cut, it can be seen that the cut is not perfect, but it is acceptable. Next, use the ST900C strip tool to strip 13 32 inches of jacket. The strip tool sometimes leaves a less than satisfactory edge. If this happens, place tape around the cable, which is used as a guide to cut a few more millimeters of jacket. This creates a nice square cut along the entire diameter of the cable and allows a bit more braid to be clamped between the back nut and the connector head, making a stronger connection. Once the trimming is complete, the jacket should line up perfectly with the tape. And now is a good time to organize any braid that was disturbed. And now it's time to remove the tape. The LMR900 connector comes in a package with a small package of grease. Remove the back nut from the connector head. and place some grease on the jacket so that the back nut can slide onto the cable. Without the grease, the gasket inside the back nut will make it almost impossible to do this. At this point, gloves can be used to keep your hands clean from the grease and also, they protect your hands later on when organizing the braid. Before placing the back nut 
on the cable, ensure that the braid is organized so that not even one strand gets pushed out of place by the connector. It takes a little bit of effort to place the back nut onto the cable, but a little pushing and rotating will eventually snap it into place. Next, open the braid from the center to the outside direction and fold it against the back nut. This will help stop the back nut from sliding forward while screwing on the connector head. Now, it's time to place the connector head onto the cable. To do this, hold the back nut stationary while you spin the connector head clockwise. It is important to push the connector head against the cable and hold the back nut firm while spinning the connector head. Once you have tightened the two sections as much as you can with your hands, use two one and a quarter inch slim wrenches to torque the two sections together to the point where the o-ring between the sections is compressed. Once you have completed this task, check your connector by twisting the connector clockwise and counterclockwise. There should not be much movement at all. 